What's up? You already know what it is. You gashed. Uh, you shout out to live from the block battles. You know what I'm saying? Call the corner one. I will be in Texas. You know what I'm saying? Live from Funky Town. You know what I'm saying? Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, we're doing this event. Call the corner. Uh, crazy battles. Molly G's fellow uh, King Corleone. My man Pac Manson all uh, having battles and that shit. So if you guys are fans of the shit, you know what I mean? Come out and check it out. So it's gonna be at Froggy's. Is shit, you ain't gonna come to this battle with nothing that's gonna top me. Like, I'm making a fucking example out of you. I didn't take this battle for a challenge, respect, or views. Everyone knows I'm gonna beat you. No one gives a shit about you. You're gonna anti promote this battle. Like, dude, it's done. I'm not gonna make some crazy metaphor about fucking with fire, you're gonna get burned. I'm just gonna fucking slaughter you and make a goddamn example out of you. You're a fucking faggot. I, I, I'm thinking, Skull King. Toss up, battle gonna be debatable. Molly G, Bobby Fisher. Bobby Fisher's trash. I'm sorry. That's that's the wind's already in the air, man. Um I'm just hoping really that nine jam up on Pat. You know what I'm saying? So I could be next to man's son. Fat. Five hundred live from the block. You saw I handled the Pac Manson battle. That dude's in my group. We're homies. You're not my homie. I'm coming ten times harder. We already know your strategy, you're just gonna say some weak ass shit and all 500 is gonna yell. And I know if you come with any good bars, they were probably ghost written. But you know what, my friends are the best rappers in the Metroplex, so anything that you got ghost written for you, I'm gonna top that too. You're a fucking faggot. I think that's, that's about all I need to say. Bitch. I really expect a more intense battle. Uh, you know, no, like in no form or disrespect to any of my other opponents, you know, like those were all great battles as well. I feel like you say he's experienced, so I know he's going to bring the intensity, the stage presence, the performance factor. I've, I've had a chance to check out a couple of his battles, man. I mean, very worthy competition, you know, so I'm stoked. I'm hyped about it, but I mean, one way or another, 
go get this work. Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, this is Nine. Um, I don't have anything. Well, I don't know what to do with my hands, like as far as a rapper. So the things I'm gonna be doing is only because I see like people do it when they talk about these kind of things. Um, AKA the realist uh, person you you've seen. AKA the beast of the building. AKA the funky town haircut. Anyway, uh, I'll be at the live from the block battle uh, February 22nd uh, on stage with Pac Man's son. Um, uh, it, it's, it's my hometown. It's my hometown battle. I'm, I'm really excited about that. AKA the iPad. Um, uh, it should be a dope battle because. It yet, and I'm sure that Pac Man's son has some really dope things he's gonna say about me. Uh, uh, he's a dope MC. I give it to one him just because of his energy. Uh, he has a lot of stage presence. He's a very dope MC. Uh, and he, he, he commands the floor. Me, myself, I yell and make it rhyme. MCs hear that, that's not really a good combination. Previous battles, I mean, I really, I, I, I would sit down and scheme, you know, like rhyme formats or something that I wanted to say, get off if, if I see something about them that I thought was funny or it came to my head or something they might have previously said, you know, I would see if maybe there's an angle I can take on that and spin it. You know, this time, like, I really didn't do like a lot of research. I didn't, you know, other than I watched two of his battles, you know, that's all I've seen. And just based off what I saw, I felt like I could take some direct angles and show the crowd, you know, uh, you know Pac Manson always brings the intensity, you never know what I'm gonna do up there. You know, there might be pyrotechnics, you know, there might be motherfuckers jumping up out like the living dead. You don't know what's gonna happen when I'm on stage. So you, know, you come out and see it for yourself, man. I'll make sure the fans get their money. Bobby. <laughs> Hi Bobby. Fisher, hi, hello. Stay career militant, Molly G, Bright Squad South. I am from a place called hell. I do not prepare anything until about Three or four days before, um, Bobby Fischer does not have the complexity. I don't think he knows what he's doing. I, I don't think he know what he got himself into. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't believe that someone actually gave him the confidence to go against. I am not the one. Hear no evil. See no evil, speak no evil. No. 4400 White Settlement Boulevard, February 22nd, hosted by Osama the Great, co hosted by Mr. Disaster himself. One of the top five battle rappers of all time, in my opinion, coming fresh off his King of the Dot title match. So, this coming out. Y'all don't know who Disaster is. Y'all don't know shit about battles, so you need to bring your ass out here and learn something. Nine versus Pac Manson, Skits Corleone versus Fellow, Demon Corleone versus Big Scope, and Bobby Fischer versus Satan. told y'all no more holding up because this is live from the block you better grow some nuts <laughs>